everybody. So we've got our ready for our new book this week. And the story that we're going to read is one that you might actually know. It's what we call a traditional tale. And it's been told by lots of people over and over again. And different versions of the book have been written by different people. So this one today that we're going to read has been written by Mara Alperin and Mark Chambers. And I wonder if from the pictures you might be able to guess what the story is because I've hidden the title. Shall we have a little look? So our story is Jack and the Beanstalk. Let's open the book and find out more. It's an interesting page to start on. I wonder what all of those are. Might be Jack. So Jack and the Beanstalk. Deep in the countryside lived a widow with her son Jack. Their cottage was crumbling and their clothes were patched. They were very, very poor. One day Jack's mother said, We must sell our cow. Take her to the market, Jack, and bring home some gold pieces. And so he set off to town. But before Jack had got very far, he met a strange little man. That's a fine cow, the man said. I'll swap you five magic beans for her. Magic beans, said Jack. Are they really magic? Magic they are, or chop off my beard and knit it into a jumper, croaked the little man. Um, magic beans? Jack couldn't wait to tell his mother. He clutched them tightly and ran all the way home. Jack's mother was furious. We need money, not useless old beans, she cried. And she threw them out of the window in disgust. But later that night, a tiny bean sprout poked out of the ground. And then it grew and grew and grew. The next morning, the beanstalk stretched high into the sky. The beans were magic, Jack cried. But what's that at the top? Jack climbed up, up, up the beanstalk. At last, he reached the very top. There, shimmering in the sunlight, was... I wonder what it could be. A magnificent... Castle. Just then, Jack's stomach rumbled. Oh, I must find some breakfast, he thought, and he tapped on the castle door. The castle door creaked open, and a huge giantess smiled down. Hello, Jack. Hello, Jack shouted up. Please, do you have any food? You poor thing, boomed the giantess. Come right in, but quickly, before the giant gets up. What a marvellous feast there was. There was an enormous loaf of bread and a gigantic jar of jam. Jack tucked in at once. But suddenly the room began to shake. Boom! 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 Goodness me! cried the giantess. He's coming! And she shoved Jack under a teacup to hide. In the room stomped a big, scary, hungry giant. Fee, fi, fo, fum, I smell the blood of an Englishman, he said. Be he alive or be he dead, I'll grind his bones to make my bread. Don't be silly, there's no one here but us, the giantess scolded. Now, go and have a wash before breakfast. Jack trembled and shook. Oh, I must leave now, he thought. He was halfway down the hall when he heard, Jack! There was a head with bright golden feathers. Help! She clucked, set me free and I'll lay you golden, egg, golden eggs every morning. Jack scooped up the hen 
But then he heard huge footsteps thundering after him. Fee, fi, fo, fum, thought the giant. I smell the blood of an Englishman and there he is. <gasps> Jack raced out of the door. He jumped and slid down the beanstalk. Down, 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 all the way back to his cottage. Mother, quick, bring the axe, he shouted. Hmm, I wonder what he's going to do with that axe. Jack's mother swung the axe at the beanstalk. Whack! It shuddered and shook, and then the giant came tumbling down. Fee, fi, fo! Crash! And that was the end of the giant. Jack hugged his mother tight. Look what I found, he said, and he showed her the golden hen. Oh, Jack, said his mother, I'm so glad you're safe. And you were right about those magic beans. So Jack, his mother and the golden hen all lived happily ever after. And with lots of golden eggs, they were never poor again. And there we are. I think we might know what these are now. I wonder if those are the magic beans. So there's our story for this week. There are lots of activities for you about uh, castles and about beanstalks and about growing things. So I look forward to seeing what you do with our Jack and the Beanstalk story.